Hi, I'm Jan. And I'm Ronnie, and we're designing dishes. Today we're making a beautiful boneless pork loin. Oh, nice and tender. It is not the tenderloin, but we are going to make this as moist as possible by using a, a brine. Now what is a brine? It is a mixture of equal parts of rock salt and sugar. And there are two, two methods to making a brine. One can be a dry rub where you will add these mixtures and a seasoning and let it sit for a while. But today we're going to be using the water method. The water method is really good because it adds so much moisture to the meat and that's mm -hmm. going to take care of our problem that a lot of people complain about which is why is my pork so dry? So we're going to add that moisture. Let's go over to the stove and make a brine. Sure. Making our brine, we have a cup and a half of water. We're going to add a half a cup of salt, and that is coarse salt. We're going to add a half a cup of sugar, and we're going to let this cook until the sugar and the salt dissolves. Stir it occasionally. Probably take 10 minutes or so. We're adding about two cups of ice cubes to the brine. That's going to chill the brine down. We would not want to pour that hot brine over our meat because it would start cooking it, number one. And we're going to brine in a plastic bag. It would melt a plastic bag. So two disasters on your hands. As soon as this is cooled down, the ice is melted, we're ready to pour it over the pork. Okay, we have placed the pork into this plastic bag. The brine is cool and we're pouring that cool brine over our pork roast. We're going to zip it shut and place it in the refrigerator and we're going to leave it there for three hours and up to 24 hours. One thing to remember at this point, you do not want to keep the brine in metal. Flavor may transfer. So you can see we've put it in plastic. While our pork loin roast is brining, we're going to multitask. We're going to be making the apricot ginger sauce that's going to go on top of it. And it has fresh ginger in it. This is a nodule of fresh ginger. And we want to basically just take off the brown peel off of the outside of the fresh ginger. Just cut straight down through. Don't try to peel it like a potato. You just want to you know, take off the thick skin. And then we're going to take it and to grate it, I have a ginger grater, which is made out of ceramic. And you're just going to slide the ginger over the ceramic little grater. And that's going to make this very, very, very fine paste of ground ginger, which we're going to put into the sauce. The other ingredients that are going to be going into the food processor are one and a half cups of apricot preserves. Looks very good. Also, what's going in is one teaspoon of garlic, Ronnie's ginger, which she's finishing up. It's going to be one teaspoon, three tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of fresh lime juice, one fourth teaspoon of dry mustard, one and a half teaspoons Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of champagne vinegar. Now if you don't have champagne vinegar, you may use like an apple cider vinegar. And we're finishing it off with a dash of cayenne pepper and a dash of salt. And I'm finishing it off with a knife to get the top. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. We're going to process this now until it's mixed. And if you'd like to, you can just pulse it off and on. with a pulse. We've got it all ready. Ronnie, help me. Thank you. Sometimes I need two people. <laughs> Let's look at the sauce. Very nice consistency. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Apricot ginger sauce is going to be great on the pork loin. Oh, that ginger smells wonderful. It does. <laughs> now we're going to divide this sauce into two bowls. One for serving and one for basting. You don't want to use your basting sauce as a serving sauce because you're may, you may cross-contaminate your sauces and your meat. 
We've taken the pork loin out of the brine, rinsed it and patted it dry. Now we're adding two tablespoons of spicy barbecue rub. The barbecue rub that I found that I really, really like is called Ron's Rowdy Rub. And I know I'm Ronnie and this is Ron's, but we're <laughs> not connected at all. Just happen to really like these flavors. Uh, if you sprinkle this into your hand, it actually tastes like barbecue. And uh, you can order it, if you're in case you're interested, from ronsroundyrub.com. It's very good, Ronnie. I just tasted it. <laughs> Super. We have two tablespoons of oil in a skillet. We're going to take the pork loin that has been in the refrigerator for an hour, then has kind of cured that rub, and we're going to sear it at this point. Okay, we're going to let that brown on all sides. That means, you know, the ends, the all four sides, bottom, top, left side, right side, ends, the whole thing, in other words. We're going to let it brown all over, and when it's a nice golden brown, then we'll be ready to put it in the oven. This will take about 10 minutes. The pork loin has been seared on all six sides. Boy, does this look lovely. Now we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and bring it out and baste it. After 30 minutes of baking, we're going to put some of our apricot ginger sauce onto our roast, spread it around with our basting brush, and at the same time we're checking the temperature. Jan, what's it on? It is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and we want our roast to come up to about 150 because we want it to be more on the done side, just a tiny bit pink, so not well, well, well done, but up to 150, so. Good thing we like our meat the same way. Yeah, sure <laughs> is. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll put that guy back in the oven and bring it up to temperature. The meat is out of the oven now. The temperature is 150. That's where we decided we wanted a little bit more on the well done side. And we're going to allow the roast now to rest for 15 minutes. The 15 minutes resting time will allow the juices to be reabsorbed into the meat and rather than running out all over the cutting board when we slice it. So this is going to give us a much juicier slice of meat when we're ready to eat it. The presentation of our pork loin looks wonderful. We've used three pieces of pork that we've sliced. And it was 150 degrees. Look how moist this looks. As our accompaniment, we have used red leaf lettuce and a little bit of lime. In the sauce, there is a little bit of lime. So that's a nice coordinating factor when you think about things to garnish with. Now, if you're looking for some side dishes to go with this entree, you might look back to our video on corn pudding and oven roasted asparagus and also look at our, our rack of lamb roast with the oven roasted potatoes. If you have any comments, you can leave them on YouTube. You can always contact us at designingdishes at gmail.com and of course we're on Facebook. We thank you for joining us again and we hope you enjoy this recipe.